Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Today we're going to talk about your favorite subject, brothers' favorites. Not the women. We ain't talking about the women. We talk about the white man today. We're going to talk about why white people hate black people. Why white? Because that's the question. Why white people hate black people? And when I say black people, you meet a meet a brothers and sisters. No, I'm talking about y'all too. They like to exclude themselves. That's not me. You're a speaky panty. Yeah, you too. Me, you're no negro. Yeah, you are. So. With all the recent killings, many, many Christian blacks are confused as to why white people hate black people. And black ministers have no scriptural answers. No scriptural answers. So today we want to see what God says about this thing. I want to open up with the first video in California with the man holding the sign. Hey, boss, man, when I get home today, I'm going to pray for you, man. I'm going to pray for you, brother. Hey, pray for that ugly-ass car you drive. I'm going to pray for you, boss. Pray for that ugly-ass car you drive. I got five cars. This is just one of them. <laughs> but I'm going to pray for you, boss, man. So that was it. Just cut right there. So all what you homeless say? niggas, go back to Africa. You know, white people like to say that thing, go back to Africa. Now, give me Jeremiah 3.17. Give me Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 17. Let me tell you, everybody, after America, after Babylon the Great is destroyed, we all going back to Africa. I'm telling you straight. Y'all don't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> we going back. But watch. Read that, Jeremiah 3.17. The book. Of Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 17. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. They shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. And in case you didn't know it, I'm going to show you today. Jerusalem is on the continent of Africa. Go ahead. And at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. And all the nations shall be gathered Unto it. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it. When it says all the nations, it's talking about Israel coming out of all nations. Go ahead. To the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imaginations of their evil heart. Because Jerusalem will be the capital of the earth. Just like Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States of America, Jerusalem is going to be the capital of the entire planet Earth. Now, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Watch this. Many times when you think of Africa, you don't think the land of Israel at all. And I, I discussed it before, and I'm going to go into a little more detail. Give me, uh, just popped in my mind, Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. Read. After the doings of the land of Egypt, Wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. So we will go into the land of Canaan. The land of Canaan is the land of Israel. That's Africa. Now you can walk from Egypt into Israel. But today, doing that, because we often say you can walk. But there's a problem. When you look at a map, it's not the way it used to be. 
I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Watch this. Give me, I want you to look up on Google, Suez Canal. How many of you heard of the Suez Canal? Okay. Actually, I think I put, the, uh, I put a photo of it on GroupMe. Just click the photo. I want y'all to see. Y'all see in red, it says Suez Canal. Y'all see that, right? The Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Now, watch this. I'll, I'll keep that right there. Look up Suez Canal. Watch this. Okay, Suez Canal. The Su Can you read that, Officer Liam? The Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is an artificial sea level waterway in Egypt connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea through the Isthmus of Suez. Click it so we can see the rest. Go ahead, read. Constructed, constructed by the Suez Canal Company between 1859. Remember that year, 1859? And 1869. So 10 years it took them to artificially create the Suez Canal. Go ahead. It was officially opened on the 17th of November, 1869. Now go back out and let's get images. Because we showed you a little drawing, but let's look at the actual Suez Canal. What they did, the white man, they, the Suez Canal is 79 feet deep. They cut Egypt from Israel on purpose, artificially created this thing. They, are, they created this thing. Give me the next image. Go back out. 79 feet deep between Israel and Africa. That's what they did. They chopped it off. Watch. You see how big that thing is? Now, look up the term. Remember, it, it said it opened up when? 1869, right? Yes. Look up. Write this in. Type the term Middle East. Write it just like that. Read that, Officer Leon. The term Middle East may have originated in the 1850s in the British India office. However, it became more widely known when American naval strategist Alfred Thayer Mahon used the term in 1902 to designate the area between Arabia and India. So, what they did notice, remember it was opened 1869. Now in 1902, the term was already in the 1850s, but it became popular in 1902. So when you think of Israel, you don't think Africa at all. It was done systematically by design. Not only do they put it in books, they separate it, but visually they chopped it off from there. Everybody understand what's going on here? So you say, oh, Israel's in the Middle East. People go Arab or white people. That's the first thought in their head. Nobody ever thinks Africa. That shows you, that shows you how consistent they are in different realms of their world. Their educators will go along with their historians. Their, archa their archaeologists, their, their, their builders, their construction, all of that will fit one thing. They, that shows you that, that they're unified in different aspects of their world. Their educators, like you said, the school system goes along with that. So all our kids, all of us have been taught Israel is in the Middle East. First thought, Arabia or white people. We never think Africa. Right. They say, we're going to build it, but you teach it, you put it in church, you put it on TV, all exactly. those different avenues saying the same thing. Exactly. So, get, actually, give me Daniel 11, 14 first. I like Daniel 11 and 14. Come on. Daniel chapter 11, verse 14. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. The king of the south is the Ptolemy dynasty, which ruled Egypt. Go ahead. Also, the robbers of thy people. The robbers of our people were the Herodians. Not the Herodians, the people of Herod. What was the father's first name, the first guy? Antipater. Antipater, thank you. They are the robbers of our people. They robbed our identity. Read that part again also. Also, the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves. Also, the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves. Exalt themselves as what? The Jews. Go ahead. To establish the vision. So how far did they go to establish the vision? They built the Suez Canal to separate Egypt, to separate Israel from Africa. I word it like that. To separate Israel from Africa. Go ahead. But they shall fall. Y'all see that? But they shall what? Fall. Exactly. 
Right. Thank you, Deacon Ethan. When you look at the eugenics tree, can you pull up that eugenics tree? Remember, the, the word eugenics means good birth. Let's look at some of these, I mean, good births of white genes. Let's look down at the roots. Let me look, let me look. Y'all see at the bottom? Uh, you got uh, geog geology right there. Let me look at, see geography in the center. Do y'all see geography? Right next to law. So you might ask well, how geography fits in that. Remember, they built that Suez Canal that separated Israel from Africa. And remember, another class we went over, Ptolemy turned the map upside down so that the dark nations would be on the bottom and the European nations would be on the top. He was the orchestrator of that. Give me a map of Egypt. Give me a map of Egypt. Let me prove my point. Okay, look. Do y'all see how just that one right over here? Okay, whichever one. You see how it says lower Egypt is at the top and upper Egypt is at the bottom? That used to always bug me out years ago. Like, why is upper Egypt at the bottom? Then through research, we found out. But Ptolemy, the white man, turned the maps upside down. That's what he did. That's why the upper is at the bottom and the lower is at the top. Make no daggone sense. It's supposed to be the other way around. So Ptolemy, the Greek, did that thing. He was the orchestrator of that. Now the, his fellow white men came behind him and said, you know what? We need to separate the land of Israel from Africa. Let's build a canal, the Suez Canal, 79 feet deep. The thing is about, I forgot how many miles wide it is. Okay, so you can't no longer just walk. <laughs> these people, I tell you, these people, oh, my Lord in heaven. They are the devil, the Bible speaks. Now they will see the tremor of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.